Nerd King 101 here. And what we're going to do today is talk about Marvel video games. Now, for those of you that do not know, I have an Xbox. And as of the recording of this video, Spider-Man PS4 has just come out. Marvel Spider-Man it is considered the best Spider-Man game of all time. And it is being said to be a contender for Game of the Year. And it's a PS4 exclusive. So I can't play it. I almost considered buying a PS4 just to play it. But I'm not going to spend the money on it. But what I want to do here. Since I can't play Marvel Spider-Man. Is talk about Marvel video games. So today I'm going to be pitching the ultimate Marvel video game. The first thing we need to establish before we can really start talking about the game is that it is not based off of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but the Marvel Universe in general. Marvel Spider-Man on the PS4 is proof that people wanted open world superhero games. Because Spider-Man along with the Batman Arkham games are considered some of the best superhero games of all time, and both of those are open world. So this game would just be called the Marvel Universe or the Marvel Universe or something along those lines, and it would be an open world massive multiplayer game. The game would not just be New York City, but the entire planet Earth, but the Marvel Universe version of it. Meaning you could go hang out in LA and do things in LA, but you could also go to like Wakanda and do things there. You could even go off onto other planets like the car and the Skrull home world and deal with other races. But basically you would take the entire Marvel Universe as established in the comic books and you would just turn that into an open world game starring your own created character. When you created your character, you would be able to choose how you got your power, be it by an accident like Spider-Man, or you could choose it so you were born with your ability and you're a mutant or an inhuman, or maybe you don't have any powers at all. You're more like a Batman type character or Moon Knight type character. You would not be forced to be a hero. You would just be a person in the Marvel Universe with powers or without power. But if you're, say, a mutant, you could go to the Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters and join the X-Men. But you could also, right off the bat, after starting the game, begin a journey to Genosha, where you could join Magneto and the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants if you wanted to. The important thing to note is that there would be no fast traveling in this game. You would have to come up with ways to either use your powers or get vehicles or a method of transportation that get you to different places. When you start off, you would just spawn in the street and you would have to learn to figure things out like all the characters in the Marvel Universe did. When you spawn, you can either start doing good things like saving people from seeping you villains and being a hero, or if you wanted to, you could use your power to attack people and be a villain. There is no option, you just do it. It's all a matter of your personal choice in game. And somebody who started out as a villain could become a hero by helping out other players that are heroes stop other villains. And a hero could become a villain by, say, killing people during their fight with villains or just doing bad deeds in general. Hero would be able to work with characters like Tony Stark, and if you make them like you enough, they'll start giving you money sometimes as a favor to help you out because they like you. You would be able to use that money to buy like an apartment or something to live in and save all your stuff. Or maybe even some more high-tech gear to the stuff you originally start with. With some characters like Iron Man, if you work with them enough, you may even be able to get them to build you things. Like, you may even be able to get Iron Man to build you, like, your own Iron Man suit. Iron Man would physically build it, but the game would let you, like, customize it, and then Iron Man would build whatever you customize, so then you would have, like, your own Iron Man suit. Villains will be able to, like, break into Stark Industries and, like, try to steal an Iron Man suit, but to do it, you would have to get past Iron Man, and then if you did it, you would have a ton of characters hunting you down, so if you ever bumped into, like, any of the Avengers, they would go all out, and they'd be, like, a boss, and they'd be really hard to kill. You and your friends would be able to meet up and, like, form your own organization. Villains could form, like, their own group, like, the Sinister Six. Hero could be able to form their own, like, versions of the Avengers and their own teams. Typically, Hero would not be able to join teams. Like, you can't join the Fantastic Four, and you can't join the Avengers. But your individual team could become just as popular and well-known and powerful as the Avengers, and you could climb up the leaderboards and eventually surpass them. And people that had befriended Tony Stark if they wanted to start their own team could go to him and they ask him to, like, 
finance the team. So you could have like a headquarters, the technology, and Tony Stark would be financing all the teams. But he would only finance heroes, and hero team would need to maintain a good public image. It would, because if they start doing villainous things, then Tony Stark's obviously not going to finance them. Villains would, of course, have to steal their money and would have to get it and sell through these, like, sets. And maybe having to go to other characters and maybe getting, like, Doctor Doom to finance you. The only cake where character could join teams would be mutants would be able to choose between joining the F-Men or joining the Brotherhood of Evil or neither and just going off on their own and kind of being, like, Deadpool. Now, there would be no fast travel system in the game. You would have to figure out how to get around on your own because you have superpowers and you have people that you can get in touch with with all this money and other friends in the game that can help you out. You can make it work. One thing you'll be able to do with if you have a team, you could ask Tony Stark for money and you could like get a spaceship and you could go into space and you could go to like the car or the crawl home world. And maybe you could meet up with like the Guardians of the Galaxy. You could even turn your team into a space-based team once you got a spaceship. Villains could just steal spaceships. Their hero could even go find CPU villains that have spaceships, defeat them, turn them over to the police or whoever did you turn them over to like the Avengers or S.H.I.E.L.D. And then you could take the villain spaceship as your own. And once you take the spaceship, you will be able to customize it a little bit. This way it will be different from everybody else's so nobody would really have the same spaceship. Once again, the whole game would be entirely choice based. So if you and your friend were both heroes and you decided you needed to fight and you were having an argument or one person filled a mission, you could fight and wreck a city block and get some people killed. But that would affect your status as heroes and make you lean more toward villains because you're damaging public property while fighting. Every once in a while, maybe once a month, the game would have an event that lasted like a day or two or maybe a whole weekend where something would happen on Earth or to the whole universe where it would be like a comic book event. You could either do a completely original event or you could do something like Secret Invasion where all the civilians start transforming into scrolls and the heroes don't know who to fight and attack because if they beat up civilians, then they'll start leaning toward villains. The villain could use the opportunity as a chance to commit crimes and steal things while the heroes are preoccupied. You could literally do the invasion from the Avengers movie and that would be a chance for the villains that wanted to become heroes to become heroes because they could fight the alien and do good things and then they could become more heroic. Your power would basically be anything. Super smart people who like take things that they find throughout the map and build things. So like you pick like super genius as your power, you would be like Tony Stark and you'd be able to go around the map after you started and you would be surrounded by items and you could put them together to make like a laser gun. And as the theory went on, you could build yourself better and better weapons. If you pick the spider powers, you could be a Spider-Man and be like Spider-Man and have powers like that. And if you didn't pick powers that were specific to a certain character, you could just pick a mutant and then you would have a whole variety of powers you could pick from. And remember, mutants don't need to join the f Man or go to a Xavier school. You would all spawn in the streets of New York and then you would have to make your way to wherever you wanted to go. So if you wanted to become an f Man or go to a Xavier school, you could. Or you could make your way into town and become like a street level superhero. You could choose whether or not you wanted a secret identity. If you wanted a secret identity, you could get one. You could even get a day job and be a freelance photographer or something like Peter Parker. And you would be able to like take pictures of yourself as your superhero and sell them to different newspapers for money. Or you could just be open with your identity, but then you'd have to deal with villain constantly attacking you whenever you're trying to do anything. Really popular hero would actually be in newest articles in the game. Like, if you're a really popular character, if you'd be a hero or villain, you'd become really popular. Like, you'd start making news headlines with the Avengers and stuff. And every day when people get on the game, there'd be a newspaper, a news you could read on your cell phone. And you could read up about all these high-level players that did all these things. And you could choose as a player, you could choose whether or not you want to be a big-name hero that's all over the news. Or you want to be a street-level hero like Spider-Man is sometimes. Or do you want to be like Spider-Man kind of thing, which is both. You want to be a street-level hero when you deal with thugs, but you also team up with, like, the big teams and stuff. Basically, you would be able to make a character and just throw that character into the Marvel Universe and just have fun with it. You'd really be able to do whatever you wanted. And I honestly think the Marvel Universe, and, and the DC Universe as well, I think this would work for DC, just slightly different, is just so expanded. You could really make a good open world game from it. You could make a very profitable 
fun game. But that's basically my basic, basic pitch for the Ultimate Marvel game. I feel like a Marvel game where you can just create your own character, make your own choices, and really just live a life as a hero or villain in the Marvel Universe. Or maybe even in between, like an anti-hero, like Deadpool or Punisher. But you can just live that life in the game, almost like a Marvel version of Skyrim, just with a way bigger open world map. But yeah, that's the basics of my idea. Tell me how you would make a Marvel game in the comments section down below. What would you do? Would you do a similar thing to what I did? Did you have any different ideas? Just tell me all that in the comments. If you liked the video, leave it a like. Subscribe for more videos. And of all the else, guys, have a great day. This is Nerd King 101 signing out.